If you missed a recent event at the Center at the Heights, you missed a panel discussion with three Muslim speakers from around the area. They had a lot to teach an audience of over 100 attendees. Here's more from a conversation about Islam with our Muslim neighbors. On Thursday, February 4th, the Needham Human Rights Committee hosted an information panel dubbed A Conversation with Our Muslim Neighbors About Islam. The committee invited three local representatives to speak to the abundant audience that attended. My motivation in speaking up about Islam is because of the great deal of misconceptions and misunderstandings that exist within our community. Not so much in Needham itself, but in our surrounding communities and throughout the country. The American pop Muslim population is 1% uh, of the American population at large, but like polls say that 68% of Americans um, are afraid of Muslims, so that means people are afraid of people they don't even know. The way that I practice it, it's a religion that gives me guidance, um, gives me peace of mind, how to deal with my neighbors, my family, and so that's the one thing I'd love people to take away, that Islam isn't the bad actor, but the Muslims that are bad actors are the concerns. The night included an informational video and a moment for the audience to meet each other and discuss the topic of the night. Then the panelists shared their experiences and answered questions from the audience. The feeling has been that not only is uh, Muslims bad, but the religion of Islam itself is responsible for the actions. So in fact, this is something that's particularly disturbing. We can understand that there may be bad Muslims who misunderstand the religion, but you should not indict the entire religion for the actions of uh, extremists. A lot of these countries that are going through political and upheaval, upheaval and military occupation, um, it's the violence is not simply because they're Muslim. They happen to be Muslims who are tied up in horrible wars, but it's not because of the religion. The Muslims, in fact, in this particular problem, should be seen as more of a solution rather than the problem itself. We have as much an interest in eradicating terrorists as the rest of our community. People should not be afraid to get to know Muslims and ask them about their religion because Muslims know that, that there's so much misinformation out there and fear. So I would encourage people to just, you know, ask and get to know them and know that each person isn't necessarily a perfect representation of a religion, but generally speaking, if they have a Muslim identity, they are likely to have values of charity and kindness and patience and lots of good things that we all share and adhere to American law. What I'd love for the, um, Massachusetts and all our towns is for each one of us to really get involved in our towns and go vote for all of our elections, especially this one, the presidential, and take become active participant in our towns. For the Needham Channel News, I'm Jillian Tedesca.